The cleanup wrapping up from the storms on the coast as another round of heavy rain is on the way. And from power outages to flooded roads, emergency responders are hoping that people are preparing to brace for another round of winter weather. Brandon Thompson in Tillamook finding out how they're preparing. Power outages were extensive during last week's storm. Ahead of the next round, flooding has already appeared around Tillamook. With snow melting in the Cascade Range, they're preparing for more of that in the next several days. As the next storm brews off the coast. I wish there weren't back-to-back -back storms coming, um, but yeah, we would love to have a reprieve. Remnants from the last one remain. We definitely had some frozen roads. Uh, we did have some traffic accidents. We had a lot of downed power power uh, lines. Power outages ranged from hours to days across Tillamook County last week. We have a wind event, then we have hundreds and hundreds of trees or limbs coming down. One family was treated for carbon monoxide poisoning as the cold set in. You need to run a generator, put it uh, either outside or in the garage, but with a garage door open so that it'll vent and any heaters that are designated for indoor use are safe. This time, with snow from that storm still hanging along the Cascades, Chief McBrayer is preparing for high and fast-moving water in the county's rivers. Where we get the, the quick warming and the rains, it washes all that snowpack away almost instantly. And with that, the flooding levels can go up dramatically, and they can go up very quickly without warnings. The Trask River already breaking banks before the storm has arrived. McBrayer says flooding to end last year was significant, washing away two roads in the county. He warns people living on the coastal communities to be safe and listen to closure signs. You can't always make it across, and then our swift water team has to come get you out of the vehicle, and it's very dangerous. So far, McBrayer says the storms have been manageable this season with only two real major systems causing disruption. But he hopes that people living on the coast stay vigilant as there are several more months of storm season ahead. Reporting in Tillamook, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News.